take her forever to get this all down without getting sick. Some of the bad things are actually quite funny. And Australia as well, yeah. Annie, you Most got them in your backyard. <laughs> That's a little extreme. I'm Stacy. I'm John. And this is Raw Ability, Ability Life. Life. By the way, like I said, we're still we're still getting um. Right at the moment, we're still gonna go out the door to go to the zoo. I will sh will show you the video of all her medications she's trying to take at the moment. Look at this pile of meds. There's like twelve syringes of medications here this morning. It's gonna take her forever to get this all down without getting sick. But I just asked her what we should um, what we should pack for um, the, the trip to the zoo. So I'm asking her. Obviously, got to got to pack some cups. I was asking her that does she want to pack a bowl to um, eat out of. But I didn't specify that. So she heard. Do I want? Does she want a bowl? And she thought I was asking her does she want a bowl to get sick in. Wrong thing, honey. I was asking about the one it packed. We kind of had a giggle at it once we realized what, once she realized what I was talking about. It's like she has a special bag on the back of her chair that I'll try to show in a moment. I have everything in it. Maybe at some point I'll show you what's in it, but I can't take, take, take that time in a moment. So I will pack up and we'll see you in a bit. It's Sunday morning. I'm just over there somewhere. I feel like I'm going to punch myself in the face just trying to point it at the laptop. Kara is here. <laughs> no, I was just trying to tell you. I got no. uploaded. I managed to get my meds done. I feel sick. I forced myself to eat toast. I'm really going to drop the camera. Hopefully. So, treatment's done. All my meds are in me. I'm trying to keep them down. I forced some toast into me, which is really a challenge. In itself. Who do you? Who do you want? You come see mummy. Come on then. Up you come. Up then. Good boy. Meow. Lynn's here, isn't she? She's your favourite cara. Why is Lynn your favourite cara, huh? Is it because she spoils you? Is it? Is it because she spoils you? No. There are good things and there are bad things to having a male carer. And obviously, I wouldn't normally have a male carer. It's just because he's my husband. <laughs> Some of the bad things are actually quite funny. For example, bras. My husband has just sorted out all my clothes for going out. And obviously because we're going out, I'm doubling up. Two pairs of trousers, two pairs of tops. But bra, men just don't think. And I am actually looking at the camera. I can't work out why my eyes are over there. But I am looking at the camera. I don't know why. Um, yeah, he's given me a strapless bra. <laughs> it's a one you wear with a dress. <laughs> Men. Oh, shut up. <laughs> he just come back in from out in the van. Downfalls to male carers. Yeah, that's the right bra, honey. Thank you. 
You want to put that one away? Yeah. Downfalls to having a husband help you get changed. They don't know the difference between bras. <laughs> I'm going to go get ready to go out. Go out now. That's a fiber over there. Yeah, that's a fiber mother. Well, they said they got some in the pouch still. Look, I've been here in the zoo for five, not even five minutes, and they've already caged me up. That one that's the back there's got a room, I reckon, in the pouch. The, the, the one sitting down? Huh? The one that kind of sitting down? Yeah, because look how low her pouch is to the floor. And yeah. it's kicking like see. The one standing up is kicking too. Alright, that's it, the one you might, okay. See how her pouch is touching the floor? Yeah, it's, it's moving too. So I'm going to scream in depth into it. I told you yesterday. They don't have a mum with eyes, nothing but. This is Hannah! Hi! <laughs> Let's try and stroke so it, stroke right? It just nice and gently on the top, like this. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. It's got a really hard shell. Yeah. So it's got, because it's an insect, it has its exoskeleton on the outside, so it's really tough. Uh, skeleton on the outside. And they're in Australia. Uh, New Guinea. And Australia as well, yeah. Annie, you Most got them in your backyard. <laughs> you got them in your backyard, Annie. <laughs> My foster sister lives in I'll Australia. Wow! <laughs> That's cool. So I think she thinks I'm a tree. <laughs> Might be. We are right colourful. Is it? Never seen anything like it. She's very lovely. <laughs> like, wait a minute, let's have a colour here. What's wrong here? I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> so she also can do something really cool. So when she feels threatened, she can bend her abdomen all the way around so that it curls up like this. Um, like a, look like a scorpion. Exactly right. Yeah. So she looks like a scorpion. So predators don't don't want to eat her. That's really clever. That is clever. It's very clever, isn't it? And then she's got all these spines as well to try and deter predators as well so that she doesn't look so tasty. <laughs> and we can tell she's a female because she has this bit at the end. Uh, this is where she lays her eggs through. Ah, so the males don't have the that. The males don't have so that. The males no. wouldn't look so scorpion -ish. No, they wouldn't have that bit on the end. They still put, a good, put on a pretty good impression. <laughs> and the males as well will have much thicker spines on the back legs. Hands nice and flat like for that, me. Yeah. yeah, just like that. And then she'll just walk onto you. Oh so my goodness. They tickle a little bit, but they, they won't hurt. Actually, I'm afraid we get light. <laughs> Where are you trying to go? 
I got a mission to find somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, she's very active actually. Normally these guys come out at night. Um, and they're called? Giant spiny stick insects. Giant spiny. Spiny. Yeah, stick insects. She's like, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. It's close up there of her face. <laughs> ah, when you first put out, I thought it was going to be a spider. I was ready to <laughs> roll <run> away. Because <laughs> um, she, obviously she has these hooks, so if you move your hand, she'll just hang on. So if you put your hand flat like this, ah. oh, that's all right. Whichever way is easier for you. If that's easier for you, perfect. There we go. Yeah. You could job. definitely feel her way she grips. Yeah. She's on a mission. She, is. <laughs> she wants to come home with. Wonder if she can smell our pretty cat. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> her tentacles, is that what they call it? Front on her head, they tickle. They're called antennae? Antennae, they tickle. <laughs> they do, she's feeling her way around with those. <laughs> ah, like the kitty cats do with their whiskers. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. She did well since I couldn't get my hand the right way. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Don't forget, they can walk upside down too. So That's true. They're, they're, they're used to going any which so, direction they need to. Do you want me to show you, we also have um, a cockroach. It's a <laughs> African hissing cockroach. Um, you don't have to hold it at all, but do you want to see it? Yeah. They're huge too. So they're quite big. So this is an African hissing cockroach. Um, so these guys. Oh wow! Yeah. So I won't do that too many times because that means she's annoyed. Um, but yeah, that, where they get their name, African hissing cockroach, is because they expel air um, out through. They're called spiracles in their body, so they push the air out, and that's what makes that hissing noise. <laughs> Beautiful colours. They're really cool actually. Absolutely beautiful colours. There's over, so a lot of people think cockroaches are horrible, but there's over 4,000 different species of cockroach, and only 1% are actually considered like vermin or bad. Yeah. Um, the rest are actually really, really good. Uh, they're detritivores, so they break down a lot of um, dead material and stuff, um, and they're actually really useful for the ecosystem, and they're actually really cool. One thing that's really cool about them is they can um, be under, they can hold their breath for up to 40 minutes and they can be underwater for Whoa. 30 minutes and still survive. So I used to teach um, diving before I came here and my friend um, went diving with one of the boots on and he went for a 30 minute dive, came back up and took his shoe off and a cockroach ran out. <laughs> like, how did it survive? But they can actually be underwater for, they can survive all that pressure under the water and, and holding their breath. I'm not sure how he didn't realise it was in his shoe, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a cockroach wriggling about. What? I know. But they're actually really cool. Yeah. So they can carry salmonella in the gut, so afterwards just use the hand clean, just to clean your hands, yeah? Because, there you go. So you want a stroke? He's absolutely gorgeous, Tango. Now they're called corn snakes because if you look at the markings, Filbert. it's meant to look like bits of corn. That's real strange. Beautiful, and they're gorgeous, and you're stroking the right way. You stroke downwards on a snake, because if you stroke upwards, it can damage the scales, yeah? Ah. But beautiful. I love them, and unfortunately, a lot of people don't have an appreciation of how wonderful they are. You know, if we take them as pets, we need to be responsible and have the right environment. I don't think I would want one. No, nope, that's great. I wouldn't be I love able them, but I'm not to look one. after it. You're though. being responsible, and that's what people need to be. Um, but he is beautiful, isn't he? What do you yeah, I'm not sure about this, this is scary. Tango. This is beautiful Tango. Tango's gorgeous. He's very friendly. Yeah. Isn't he beautiful? Yeah. So this is Manu. They're incredibly clean, litter trained, um, very affectionate, and they really bond with you emotionally. Yeah. And I know that person. Okay. I have a monkey coming off the cam crawler. Of the CCTV.
that bag of milk. I want to get a tiger over there. I, uh... Oh, I like how they do the trees. No, it's cool. John, I think you're in that little girl's way. That's that me. So the last thing that we can do for them, and we try to keep it as varied as possible. Now, one thing that we do is to do a tofu. Now, does anyone know what Amber would like to eat in the wild? What does a tiger eat, yeah? Fish, you might eat some fish, you could catch some fish, yeah? Uh, what else might she eat? Cells, yeah. So Amber loves to eat meat. Any meat she can get her hands on, really. So here at Shepherds, we give her lots of pork meat, pulse meat. That is what she loves to eat. But in the wild, she's not going to find her meat in a bowl outside of her enclosure, is she? She's not just going to find in the wild, she's not going to find her meat in a bowl. So there's things that we can do. So does anyone have a guess what we might be able to do with her food to keep things a little bit more interesting for her? Thank you so much. That's OK. <laughs> I didn't want you to miss out because I know you can't hear it very well. So. I don't know if you really want to tap on the class, but. <laughs> oh, there you go. Look, look at her face. She's beautiful. I don't know if you remember that story when you were a kid, the tiger came to tea. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, it's definitely the tiger that came to tea. Yeah. She's quite elderly as well, but she looks, she still looks beautiful. She looks beautiful. They do look so cuddly, even though you know that not. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe she's that close. <laughs> wow. I show you just how big they are, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, big yawn! It's definitely a bigger yawn than Misty yawn. <laughs> in a minute, they're going to let her out, so that's when she'll disappear because they'll they put the food all round inside. Yeah. In different places to try and make sure that she does some exercise because she's got a bit of arthritis now. Oh. So, I have to make sure that she gets out. Well, I'm glad I got to see you here. <laughs> that made my day. Good. You want to come in and have a look? Yes. <laughs> amazing. Do you want to get out there? No. Thank you so much. That's right. I just thought so so I'd let you know. <laughs> Well, nobody sort of really, uh, really came in here because I think they haven't noticed. Everyone's listening to the keeper. <coughs> There's a can't yeah, hear. Can't hear it, no. Most of the talks they do outside the pens, but I think because she's trying to demonstrate the things inside and point at them, yeah. she's obviously in. And it looks a bit more dramatic if you see someone in a tiger pen. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh no, what's she doing in there? But they don't realise the tiger's locked in here. So. Well, he, he was saying to me, I think they're going to do it inside of them. No, no, of course they would do it inside a tiger pen. They'd do it outside. So I'm ready to sort of get in position so I can lip read them. Yeah, you know, because things like the red panda talk, they stand outside and talk to you, and you can, you know, you can stand like this close, and it's fine. Yeah. Um, oh, my goodness. <gasps> see it? Yeah. You can see her walking around. How special. Yeah. She's like, I know it's my food time soon. <laughs> yeah. We got a better view of her than anyone else is gonna get her. I tried to get you. I'll still check her up there though. Oh, 
Oh, she's so pretty. She sees you too. <laughs> she's waiting to go out for her tea. She is. She knows it's coming soon. Oh, she's gorgeous. How special. You're beautiful. I think we might be finishing the vlog tonight with a special car. <laughs> <laughs> You're beautiful. See, look. Oh. That there she is again. I think you did. I have no clue what I recorded. Did I help you? A little bit. Well, here you are. Good 
Det kan man prøve at tage. I like where you're fishing, but that's a little extreme. Uh-oh, I don't know. Okay, like, I don't know. Huh? Try to get them all down on the ground. Size or sort of thing. Fox. Yeah, um, but they're very adorable. They're two females. They're both there, so the other one's just behind. They're just like little household cats, all curled up and yeah, cuddled up, like, just living so in the wild. Sort of thing. They are brilliant. Absolutely lovely. Oh, so cute. I'm stating that John. Code. Our name is a really. Their name is really hard on them. Oh yeah, that's yeah. the right one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got my license in Nintox and everyone wants that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, she's just... She's just wanted to tuck them up and hug them. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. 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 I'll take it.
no one else had to ruin their time um, and they could enjoy the talk another third person overheard this and said to us to follow them and we were invited in to go and see the tiger in its little enclosure and it was just little there's the tiger there's this little um, piece of glass piece of glass and there's me here and the tiger sat right there and it was just like oh my god I just can't believe it and everybody else is outside listening to this talk and I'm right there with the tiger I'm like yeah I'm glad I can't hear <laughs> Sometimes there are perks with disabilities. <laughs> now you take a breath, I will just like that. Just... Yeah, there are sometimes perks, and that was a perk. And then later on, we were playing with the meerkats in ways we probably shouldn't have, but we did tell the keepers what we'd yeah, done. Yeah, we're, we were fishing for meerkats. You should put it on the top, by the way. Say again? Fishing for meerkats. Fishing for meerkats, yes. Well, I thought all of them like we were doing. Oh, it was so funny. Um. And, and it was so much fun, it was so brilliant. So I can't decide quite between the two, which was my favourite, but I think the meerkats, I really did enjoy the meerkats. So, uh, and I must it up because I bought a meerkat teddy as a souvenir, and I bought myself a meerkat, um, yeah. I don't think it's got a sharp well. A meerkat magnet, but it's metal, so it's a bit shiny. But I also got a second one of these to put in my 100 subscriber um, giveaway box so that one's going on my fridge and one is going in my 100 subscriber box so yep, we're at 19 today we're at 19 subscribers today yep, so we, we, we're getting one today sometime only 81 subscribers away for me to start look start doing me video for me 100 subscriber box giveaway and it's getting quite a lot in there isn't there yeah it is and I bought myself a new little um, purse that I can attach to my seatbelt um, because my handbag's too big to take out sometimes and it's just the easier. seatbelt an, an actual wheelchair not, yeah. the, not the seatbelt on the bed just to clarify that <laughs> and also while we were there we got loads of really cool things I somehow ended up walking out with about uh, six pencils I don't have no idea who did that still but I don't either because I love doing the kids things. I don't know about anybody else, but I love doing the kids things as you go around. So because it, it makes it more fun. You, huh? should have, you should have already doing that. I would have helped you do it. Well, I actually didn't do it in the end. I was reading it and as I was going, but I couldn't mark it off. But they had a couple of different kids things as you went around. And I think I dropped the other one in the bedroom when I got back. I literally got out of my chair, he transferred me out of my chair when we got back, I had to go and have a lay down, I was so tired, and literally everything fell out of my wheelchair, there was so much, there was literally, oh there, there it is, look, this is the kids trail, oh look at it, so all of this, here, was in my wheelchair, I was sat on it, um, but this, this is the important one, Remember we showed you how to blow up an inflatable hammer with the nebulizer? Mine has a hole, which is why it didn't come on holiday. So I got a new one. It falls out. <laughs> it's a lemur instead of a monkey. So John gets to blow that up. But you don't have to do it now. Okay. So what else did we get, honey? Yeah, I'd do it with the nebulizer. What did we get? We had a amount of food. We did get a amount of food because part of our thing was that we had our dinner free as well. So we got the entrance free and we got dinner free. And it was like this big buffet of food, hot and cold food. Well, it said hot and cold, but I think it was like hot when it came out, some of it. But it didn't matter. It was all really nice food. And most of the time when I go anything like that, I can't, most of the stuff I can't eat. But they did have a couple of things I could eat, didn't they? Yeah, that, that, that's a fruit for you. Your, yeah, it's your, a fruit. Your favourite melon. My favourite melon, watermelon, and some strawberries, and a little bit of quiche, which I could eat. So we came out with loads of food. Because they were, they needed to get rid of it at the end anyway, so. John has a uh, takeaway for, oh, sorry, honey. Um, oops. 
I let him pick them up because I'm not very good at this. I'm not sure how I was going to show up. You didn't fill yours up very far. I did. Really? You should see mine. Or is it because you knew I wouldn't eat all mine, so you were going to eat some of mine? No, you also have a sandwich in yours too, so that takes up room. You have the more healthier options. I have the healthier options. Kinda. And then another one full of desserts. And then. And then there was these desserts. We went back later for a drink to warm up so I could do my meds. Um, at four o'clock, except my four o'clock meds were early because everything was early today with my meds so that we could go today. Um, and they had these little desserts and they were like trifles, but instead of custard, they'd use like, um, I think it was Angel Delight. You know, it was tough. I'm not sure what it was, but it's very, very, um, but it were, they were in little pots, so John had to sort of help me by feeding me with them, um, which is always amusing when he does that because he forgets I don't have a big mouth like him. So he's always trying to stuff this whole big food, spoon of food and in my she, mouth. And then she forgets to tell me this. Our second pants are giving the spoons too fast. It's like, well, you can't and control. Like, <laughs> no, you can control by not taking it. <laughs> Stubborn. But Stubborn. they sent me home with four of them. It's something different for me to have my fire meal on as well, isn't it? Yeah, probably should never see it. Well, we could pull the cream off the top and put it on the other bit. True. So, I don't know if we can get it open. I don't I don't really want to open, open. Oh, hang on, I might be able to put a hole in here. She put a lot of cling film oh, on Oh, she there. put them on cling film on them personally as well, so. They're just, these little, and they got a little, they got um, fruit and jelly, and then they got angel delight, and then a bit of cream. And some of them, instead of fruit, that one, that one's got fruit and chocolate angel delight. And that one's got fruit and I think banana angel delight. But she gave me all fruit. I thought there might be. Oh no, this one's got sponge. This one's sponge and banana angel delight. But they're awesome. I, th I think most of the sponge ones were gone. Yeah, I had a sponge one there, didn't I? But the fruit is really soft fruit anyway, so that'll be easy for me. And I like these sort of things because it's different textures and different flavors. And one of these was too much for me to eat um, today, wasn't it? Yeah, but that's after you fed up on fruit too. Well, yeah, it was w well after my fruit tea dinner, but um, <laughs> it was too much for me to eat in one go. I, I need to eat like little bits here and there. So I think I probably ate half of it. Yeah, about half of it, yeah. So these are kind of perfect for farming, really. Well, on its own, you probably you probably could eat one of those on its own. It's all because you had all the fruit beforehand. Yeah, but I had the fruit like three hours beforehand. No, it's only like two hours beforehand. Okay. All right, then. maybe we'll see. Are you selling me for three pounds seventy-five? Oh hell no! You're priceless. Today is a prime example of why important to not let your health just get in the way and stop you going out and doing things yes not very well right now yes I'm fighting some sort of bug of some sort or cold well we think it's more than a cold don't we I'm not too sure right now so do you not I do colds don't give you temperatures like I've been fighting as well true um and they also don't give you the joint aches and everything as well no they don't do that. So, regardless, don't I know, know I've got a long way to go with fighting this. I don't just get the simple bug like everybody else does. It then kicks in other things with me. I normally get the follow-on ear infections and chest infections and all the other goodies that I can, I'm prone to picking up. Then it kicks off my other conditions, my epilepsy, my asthma. You're already seeing it's kicking my asthma off. Um, so... I can sit at home and do nothing and hope that I don't pick up anything else along the way. Which is a boring life. It is a really boring life. And the carers coming in daily, they've got to see loads of people. They could be bringing anything in anyway. Or, while I'm a little bit stronger still, I can go out and enjoy life. And get some fresh air. Yes, 
the fresh air is always good. Yes. Because as you're getting poorly as well, you mm. get fed up of being trapped in the four walls. It drives you crazy. So those chances, you jump, you jump at them. Yes, they're exhausting. Mm. But we did like a lot mm. of sitting inside and taking breaks and warming me back up and then going out for like a little bit to see the animals then coming back it was just a little safari park so we were able to do that come in warm up go out see a couple of animals come back have a drink warm up go out and see more animals we kept doing that and for us it worked didn't it it did yes we had a fun time i had fun i don't know if he did yeah we both had fun good I haven't seen the clips yet, but I think you're gonna love them. I think you're gonna love the meerkats. They were so cute. Miss is looking at you. Don't tell me you have another good uh, best friend animal again. <laughs> I got a new friend, Misty. <laughs> <laughs> He's not happy. So, we will see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, you for, for joining, joining us in our, our crazy, crazy world. world. Cue Misty. <laughs>